A doubly ended linked list is the same as a singly linked list except for we add a tail to the list. So a doubly ended linked list consists of a head node and a tail node and a couple of basic methods. Here's the node for our doubly ended linked list, which is the same as the node for the singly linked list. We have a property to store our data, a property to store our next node, which is of type node. And in this case, the data is set to integer just for simplicity. We have a method to get data, which simply returns the data property of the node. We have a method to set data, which simply takes in an integer data and sets it to the data property on this node. We have a method get next node, which simply returns the next node that this current node is pointing to. And we have a method set next node, which takes in a node and sets that node to the next node of this current node. To create a new node, we have a simple constructor that takes in data, in this case integer data, and then sets it to the data property on the node. So the advantage of a doubly linked list is that we can reach the item at the end of the list. With a doubly ended linked list, we can add an item to the end of the list. However, we would need a doubly linked list to easily remove the last item in the list since we'd have to still search through the entire list to get access to the next property of the previous node to remove the item at the end of the list. So here we show the insert at tail method, which shows the benefit of a doubly ended linked list. In the insert at tail method, we take in data. We create a new node from that data. If the head node of the list is null, then we set the new node to be the head of the list. If the tail is not null, then we simply set the next node of the tail to the new node that we passed in. Otherwise, if the tail is null, then we set the tail to the new node. As you can see, we didn't have to search through the entire list to add another node to the end of the list. This is the benefit of having a tail node on a doubly ended linked list. We can also simply get the last node in the entire list by returning the tail of the list. If we did not have a reference to the tail, we would have to search through the entire list. In comparison to a regular singly linked list, here's our method add at the end of the singly linked list. As you can see, we have a while loop to search through all the elements of the list until we find the end of the list, and then we can finally set the new node. And those are the basic benefits of a doubly ended linked list.